fired up here. Had a student cancel this morning, so I've actually got... 320 kilo ratchet clearance or request. Good lord, it's loud. Got some time to go actually fly a little bit by myself. I rarely get to fly by myself anymore, so I thought I'd take advantage of it. Good morning, Vision Jet 69 Uniform. I have the weather and instruments on file. Then we get the tower here. Cape Tower, Cape 90669. Look out to 90669, Cape. On around Cape Cover, looking for a departure out to the south, left, right to the southeast. Cop 669, southeast departure approved at your own discretion. Use caution. The wind is uh, 2205, up to 3005. And 669 is on the go. Cape Tower Vision is 6-9 uniform. Is that Sky Tractor on this frequency? Yeah, is he blocking your way there? It's a little tight. Four is Kalima Tower. Go ahead, four is Kalima. Hey, that uh, jet just to your west there is trying to get by. Is there any way you can move it a little bit? Yes, sir. Just give me one second. And 669 is going to be out on a heading about 120. 6 and 9, Roger. Man, it's a pretty nice day so far, but it's going to be hot today. So I'll do a little flying early on here before it gets remarkably hot. Yeah, we'll head over here and run the river, see what we can see along the river today. And 669 is clearing out to the uh, east, southeast. Cap 669, Roger. Yeah, some boaters down on the river this morning. Look like fishermen heading out in pursuit of fish. <laughs> so these uh, sandbars here, you can see this is mostly sand and mud. These are not a good, really great thing to land on, especially with any kind of wheeled aircraft like an airplane or a plane. Tend to get stuck with those. You can get away with it with a helicopter, but. You don't want to land in the sand, you basically just kind of blow up a bunch of sand, sand, uh, kind of sandblast your tail rotor and your main rotor, so. The ones that are gravel, we'll see if we can find one that's uh, essentially gravel, we'll land on it. Yeah, like so rare that I get to go out and just play, fly around and have fun. Thought I'd definitely take advantage of this. Hey, well, we'll sneak up here and see if Mark Johnson's out in his pool today. Say hello. Here he is, over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, a little early in the morning yet, I guess. Mark up here. Come back a lot of blades slap here. Hell, let's sneak up over the wires and show you guys something here. If you climb up to, it's kind of hard to tell where the horizon is, but right about there, we're even, eh, right about there, we're even with the top of this tower, so we're going to keep going on up. Mm -hmm. As you can see more real estate past the tower, you know you're climbing relative to the tower. Mm -hmm. 
Man, it is hazy today. This little spot right here is all rock. So, and we'll turn around, shoot a landing into there. This, this little bar right here, this is all rock. And there, there's rock. Just sit her down right here. That's put a good current moving there to the left of us there. So like I say, these gravel bars, you can land on them. They're about like landing on pavement. In fact, we could slide over here and land on that other one. Got a little bit of water on it, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit of current right here. Mm -hmm. And obviously this bar over here is all gravel. Just gotta watch for the logs up there. Yeah, blowing up a little bit of sand. We'll go on on this one. On the go. Yeah, you can see all the fish rolling up there. 320 kilo tanks, runway 28 via Bravo ML. And 320 kilo, wind 210 at 8, out to under 3005. I'm working on your release. Yeah, since I'm in the neighborhood, I'll sneak over here and give my dog some exercise. I can come in and just hold it at a hover in the backyard. Hey, come out and run around. It's kind of funny when I'm home and a helicopter goes over, the dogs want to run outside and see who it is, see, see if it's me. I'm like, you idiots, I'm sitting right next to you. It's not me. I wake up all my neighbors there. Pretty good. Uh, finally got my pole fixed. Uh, took two years to get the parts to fix it, but oh well. Finally got it going now. All right, let's see if the doggies come out there. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. My wife may not be out of bed yet. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, the door's opening. They'll be coming out now. There they go. Uh-oh. One, one trip. Believe it or not, that dog is 12 years old, the uh, Aussie Shepherd. 
Sophie, the one running back and forth, is convinced she could fly the helicopter if she ever got a hold of it. So, got one more dog to go. Yeah, I don't know where my other dachshund is. There I go. All right. All right, bye, girls. Got to go. Take a quick run down to Cairo, look around a little bit, see what's going on down there today. Yeah, the Horseshoe Lake here. Got several pair of, uh, several mating pairs of eagles. In fact, there's a, well, you can't see it from here, but there's a nice spy's nest just due west of me, right here. Maybe on the way back, I'll stop at, uh, yeah, he is breaking up quite a bit. Who's calling, Grant? Stop at Orchard Tavern and get a cheeseburger on the way back. Yeah, back to the Mississippi River again. We'll go over here and run behind this little island and see if we can see any eagles this morning. So if you think this is a really safe way to fly over the Mississippi River here like that, absolutely not. It's a calculated risk. Pretty sure it's not going to quit, but I know how to swim, and I'm in sure. <laughs> but absolutely, don't think that this is a safe way to fly the helicopter, because it's not. You go down, you're going to get to go for a swim. So, But we're just sneaking back here looking for some eagles. The water's actually back here. It's not very deep. What happens is the fish get trapped in these pools back here, and the eagles come in on them and uh, have a nice feast. Here we go. Where's the one right in front of me? You know, start to uh, Rome, Georgia, style, climbing team 5000. Departure frequency 1 to 33.65. Your squawk is 1 to 5, 1 to 7. And here's two more. Uh, we'll get you out there's a, a young one, and, and there's one with a uh, white tail down, down here below us. He's going to go for the tree. Uh, uh, we're back, correct? Zero, one, zero, two, three, zero, zero, five. Yep, yeah, there's another one there. He's going over the tree there. Yep. Lots of eagles along the river here. So we'll run the back side of this little island here. See if we see more eagles there. There's another blue heron. 